In this video, I'm going to do a review of the Enlightened Equipment Enigma Quilt. Let's go! One of the most important decisions you need to make for backpacking gear is your sleep system. And today we're going to take a deep dive into the Enlightened Equipment Enigma Quilt and I'm going to share everything I know about it to help you make an informed decision. Just a quick disclaimer before we get started. I am not sponsored by Enlightened Equipment and I paid full price for my quilt. Let's take a look at some of the features. First of all, it's lightweight. My quilt weighs in at 20.2 ounces on my scale and that is with the 850 fill and regular width and length. Next is the foot box. It's got a fairly deep foot box. I put a tape measure in it and measured about 24 inches deep. This depth helps to trap the heat and keep your feet nice and warm and also keeps your feet from falling out during the night. The next feature are the two elastic straps to use to connect it to your sleeping pad. And I think these elastic straps are what really makes this quilt work. You simply slide the straps underneath and connect them on the other side. The clipping mechanisms work pretty slick. They're easy to use even in the dark, which is nice because you're not always setting up in the daylight. And with these straps in place, the quilt stays put and you don't get any drafts. There are also two snaps and a drawstring on the top for those colder nights when you want to snug it up around your head. I rarely use the snaps, but I do use the drawstring quite a bit. Next, it features baffles that run the length of the quilt, except down by the foot box where they actually run across the quilt. Now these help keep the down in place, and I've never had any problems at all with mine bunching up or clumping. And even if it did, you just fluff it up and be fine. It does come with two bags. One is a long-term storage bag that you can put it in when you're not using it so it doesn't crush the down over time. And th the other one is a bag that you can use when you're out on the trail. Now let's talk about cost. This can vary quite a bit based on the options that you've selected, but for the one I have, the 850 fill with regular length and width, it comes in at $345. So this is certainly not cheap, but it's also one of the most important pieces of gear you're going to buy. So I think it's worth investing a bit more. The last feature I'll mention is the shipping. And I think this is a feature because it kind of describes how quickly they'll react to your order. And the website says four to six weeks for shipping, although my son got one this spring and so did another friend of mine, and they were both delivered in about two to three weeks. Now that may differ based on the time of year and demand, so your mileage may vary. Before we move on to what I like and don't like about the quilt, I wanna mention two adjustments that I made. The first is I do not use the bag that it came with when I'm out backpacking. I actually purchased a Sea to Summit Ultrasil 13 liter bag. And the reason I did this is because I feel it's more waterproof than the one that it came with. This bag folds over on top and I think this helps ensure that you're not gonna get any water in it. A quilt is one of those things, especially if it's a down quilt, that you cannot get wet. So I wanted to make extra sure that my quilt stayed dry. That's why I bought that bag. I also use a silk liner and I put that over the sleeping pad before I go to bed. And then if it gets really chilly at night, I'll pull it off the sleeping pad and climb into it. And that gives me an extra 10 degrees or so of warmth over the standard 20 degree rating of the quilt itself. So here are some of the things I like about the Enlightened Equipment Enigma quilt. First off is the durability. I went with the 7D fabric, which we'll get into in a little bit when we talk about how you can customize it. And I've had no issues whatsoever with this fabric. No rips, no tears, no pilling, um, no snags, nothing like that. I've been using my quilt for several years and it still looks like it's brand new. So I've been really happy with the durability of the fabric. Another thing I really like about the quilt is the large foot box. Like I said, it's like 24 inches long and it helps keep my feet very warm at night. And I also, on those below freezing nights, will put my Sawyer Squeeze in the foot box. And the foot box is so big that I don't have to worry about it falling out and freezing in the middle of the night. The next thing is the comfort. And I own two quilts and the Enigma is so much more comfortable than my other quilt. I don't even use the other one anymore. It's just great and I can't wait to climb into this thing every night. It's just so comfy. I'm a big fan of the packability of the quilt. When it's in the dry bag, it packs up pretty small and doesn't take up much room in your pack at all. And it's also pretty easy to stuff in there. That down scrunches up pretty well and I don't have any problem getting this packed up in the morning before I start hiking. I also wanna mention washability because eventually your quilt's gonna get dirty and you're gonna to need to wash it. And I was very nervous the first time I washed this thing, like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna to totally wreck this quilt. But when I was done, it came out just like new. In fact, I thought it was even fluffier than when I first bought it. The process does take a while, 
but I was very pleased with the, with the result. Lastly, let's talk about customization. When you purchase the Enigma quilt, you can pick from a whole bunch of different options and get exactly what you want. And I'm gonna get into each of those in just a minute. Now let's talk about what I don't like. And really there isn't much. If I had to make one suggestion to Enlighten Equipment, I would say to make that little slide thing up by the top where you snug it up around your head, to make that a little bit more secure. It does slide very easily. So when you pull it snug in the evening, if you roll around a lot, it does come unsnug pretty quickly. And then you wake up and you gotta pull it snug again. But that really only comes into play on really cold nights because that's the only time you use that thing. So it's really kind of a minor issue. Now let's talk about customization. When you buy an Enlightened Equipment Enigma quilt, you can customize it to exactly what you need. So I'm gonna go through each category of customization and kind of explain what's going on there. The first is the fill. You get to select from 850 or 950 fill. So really, what is the difference there? If you've got a 20 degree quilt with 850 fill and a 20 degree quilt with 950 fill, those are the exact same warmth. It's kind of like, a pound of bricks and a pound of feathers. They're both a pound. 20 degree quilt is a 20 degree quilt. The difference comes into the weight. The 950 fill is actually going to be lighter than the 850 fill 20 degree quilt. And if you look at some of the specs, depending on which one you get, it can be 1.5 or even more ounces less when you get the 950 fill. However, that 950 is a little bit more expensive. For example, with my quilt, if I took the 950 over the 850 fill, it would be an extra $70. So that ounce and a half ish of weight reduction does come at a price. Next, you select your temperature rating. It goes from zero degrees all the way up to 50 degrees at 10 degree increments. Now, when I'm selecting a quilt, the thing I like to consider is that I wanna have it to be 10 to 20 degrees warmer of rating than what I'm gonna be sleeping in. So if I'm gonna be sleeping in 30 degrees, a 10 to 20 degree quilt is probably what I'm gonna want. If you're only going to own one quilt, in my opinion, a 10 or 20 degree quilt is a nice versatile option for you. And if you use it with say a silk liner, that gives you even more versatility. Next, you select your length and width, and this is gonna be specific to each person. So I suggest just going on their website and reading the descriptions of each size to know which one is gonna be best for you. Next, you get to decide whether or not you want a draft collar. This is an extra piece that goes around kind of the neck area to keep the warm air in. For me personally, I just don't understand what this is gonna do for you and it's nothing that I would get, although if you want it, hey, have at it. Next, you get to pick your color and I like the fact that you can select your own colors for the inside and outside of your quilt. I went with a dark blue exterior and a dark gray interior, mainly because those dark colors help hide the dirt and give me at least the illusion of being clean when I'm out on the trail. As you're selecting the colors, you also get to select fabric weight. And as you hover over the colors, you can see numbers like 7D, 10D, or 20D. And the smaller the number, the lighter the fabric. The 7D is the lightest fabric, whereas the 10 and 20D are a little bit more heavy and durable. Now, I went with the 7D for both the interior and exterior, and I was very happy with that choice. I found it to be quite durable. It's not weak or flimsy in any way. So I don't think you need to pick the heavier fabric if you don't want to. So I, with 100% confidence, can recommend the Enlightened Equipment Enigma Quilt. It has served me well for many years, and I hope to continue using it for many more years in the future. Yes, it is a bit expensive, but I also think it's a great value, and value is important when you're deciding where to spend your hard-earned dollars on backpacking equipment. If you want to check out this and other gear that I use, you can click the link in the description below, and it'll take you right to my online gear list. As always, if you found any value in this video, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks, and we'll see you out on the trail. Oh, John's out filming. Must be a perfect time for the neighbor to get out their power washer and start making all kinds of racket. Oh. So overall, I... Hi, Maverick. Look who's helping. <laughs>